okay friends when you start to install this CUDA 9 you get this error uh, that uh, you can't install CUDA and you don't know what to do so what I have what the problem they say this is the error CUDA depends CUDA 9 are these packages so what I have done is SUDA install you have to have drivers greater than this so I am going to show you how this installation is done so copy this so you need to have this uh, NVIDIA driver greater than 90 the mistake that was I was doing is that so let us see whether this works out if this works out I am going to upload the video or else I am not going to do it so then what you have to do is you have to just uh, 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 CUDA version sudo apt key and you have to do, uh, just copy this up to here sudo add key and the CUDA version you have to put it over here put it over here and copy this CUDA version ok uh, and bar to just copy all those things bar cuda cuda repo copy this and this tutorial cuda repo and you have to copy this uh, after repo you have to copy this version go to 17.04 and copy all those things and paste it over here and what you have to do is you have to get this and paste it over here to in order to add the key no such file or directory exists so let us keep this dot deb ok no problem with that because it has already added it so let us go with the update and if everything is correct the CUDA must be installed now ok the CUDA is now installed so that's it friends it is as easy as that that you can install CUDA and after that what you have to do is you have to go to the gedit bash the only thing you have to done is you have to have drivers greater than 390 you can go to the device manager or driver manager uh, over here D or I you can go here and you can change change it ok so let us get to the CUDA installation back it may take some 50 seconds or something so this error CUDA depends 9 or another it is going to be unable to correct it problems so this will be a the head topic of our video so just uh, I am going to upload it so you can see you can see it has been uh, uploaded I will show you what else to do the next then what you have to do is you have to go to my website to my youtube channel and what you have to do is you have to go to my channel wait uh, then what you have to do is you have to get down so I have made some video on CUDA installations so go down down go better down and CUDA NN is here and you have to see whether where CUDA I have just uh, made a tutorial on that the only thing or else you can just uh, go to the tensorflow thing tensorflow.talk tensorflow uh, ubuntu CUDA installation so you have you don't have to worry because uh, so install tensorflow.org go there and after going here what you have to do is you have to just go down and look for the environment variables 
so this we are doing in linux or mac os so gpu is not optional over here because we need a cuda for this i don't know where it is the environment variables has to be here okay we could not find it because they have given some environment variables so it will be better that you do it with them okay it's not over here okay or else uh, type environment variables could i installation environment variables and click enter and as you can see that the environment variables has given so the environment variables there will be no change with that because there will be the same environment variables over everywhere so you can just uh, get down i don't know why my system is slow oh my god it's very slow after installing this maybe it will be correct so cuda 9 and cuda 7 for tensor flow is the best one as i can say you for even for 18.04 or say anything so it has to have cuda uh, this uh, driver more than 384 so it will be better so this is to keep on buffering now only so let's see what we can do this is just setting up everything then i will teach you how to install the kudan kudan and installation so this may take some time so now what i do is nvcc slash v so as you can see that there is no kind of uh, installation intimation over here so you have to get down and get down as possible and see where are the environment variables so installation configure the library on time and let's see where are the environment variables and just copy and paste those this so in here you have this uh, cuda library okay so ld path cuda extras library so do you have any other thing so python 3 so this must show correctly for tensor flow gpu so now what you have to do is you have to just copy this thing uh let me show uh am i doing it right yes i am doing it right so just copy this thing and go here gedit.bas g e d i t g edit slash b a s s h oh my god there is nothing in this g edit see nothing in this i don't know why okay let's just export it and see now what happens and when you now press the nvcc still it asks so i think we have to just gedit let us go and search for gedit.bash gedit Oh, G edit bash RC. It's supposed to be G edit bash RC. You know, just for the name, bash RC. Still, you don't have anything. So let's go here. Oh, it comes out. So it is command is actually G edit bash RC. So you have to get to the last thing of this thing. And just copy this thing, copy this, 
just paste it so everything is correct I think so so just save it save it save it close it yes o u r c e source and yes h r c source bash r c and now if you just put mvcc version still it doesn't show so let us restart the system so this gedit bash rc is like this so export gedit bash rc and let's see what happens so let's save this and source bash rc and nvcc v er er yes i o n so still it is run so okay so let's uh, sudo reboot everything and try for the next let me stop the so friends as you can see from here uh, when you go to this gedit bash rc uh, you can see that this is the take a good look at this so uh, i'm going to give you this uh, how to make this this would be same for every ubuntu because if you s install it in a very single user it will be very good for everyone this is very important because cuda is very needed for people if you want to change the version you can change it from here very needed for every system of ubuntu because if there is no cuda it will start a stammer and lots of problem would come so let me see whether i have on my mic yes i have on my mic so after that what you have to do is you have to just uh, um, save it and give source bash rc uh, give source bash rc in order to do that so after that if you put nvcc version you can see it is over here so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to install the CUD NN version, CUDNN version. The CUDNN version after you install that only, you can uh, just uh, see what could be, what could possibly go wrong, or what could uh, meet out the challenges of the TensorFlow. So what I'm going to do is CUD NN uh, 7.0.5 download and go to the CUD NN. So I'm going to just download it. So let me. So after that, what you have to do is uh, you have to just go here, and you have to just uh, download this all this 3 DB and uh, thing. So all this thing will be downloaded over here, as you can see. It is uh, AMD dot and uh, one and uh, 64. You have to download all these things, and what you have to do is and one by one you have to just uh, install it so go here to the downloads and what you have to do is you have to copy this and paste this so the first thing would be this i think so so just like renaming it you just copy it okay copy it and first you have to copy this copy this Paste this, leave some gap, and just uh, uh, go here. Just uh, go to the downloads, and in order like renaming it, just copy the whole thing. Copy the whole thing. So, this is the code and end version installation details. So, it is unpacking. And the next thing would be uh, one plus zero AMD sixty four dev. It is supposed to be dev. Okay, we have to copy that. So we are going to copy this dev. So now we have just done with the dev. So we have to copy this first one, one plus quota nine. So go here. Uh, one plus quota nine is this. I think so. Let's see the MB. It is one on two point five. So it is really this. So then what you have to do is you have to copy this and just paste it over here. You leave a space and then paste it over here. So let it be done. 
then both things been done you have to copy the smallest packages possible ever so then go here oh it's not a symbolic link i don't know why it is uh, trailing this what is mean by a symbolic link i don't know oh symbolic hard link okay right so let us just uh, lib kudanen it's supposed to be lib kudanen 7.0.5 so let's get to here and select all copy then just paste this and just hit enter you see some errors were encountered in the old installation also i don't know what was those things so the next thing would be this dock so let's whether see the dock is at least installing correctly if this has been not done correctly i am not going to upload the video so it is over here rename it copy it and what you have to do is you have to get please uh, so that's also also not right so let's see whether this comes correctly so just copy this cp and then paste it and go to here and just paste this and somewhat it is getting somewhat to correctly to the somewhat some instance or the, so we have to just make clean make and see uh, this is very correct if everything has done correctly so something error one it shows i don't know what is that so if the installation was not correct uh, this test not to be passed no such directory <coughs> or dot mnist <coughs> or something exist so we have done some wrong i think so so let's go back and just uh, first thing must be this so let's go here and let's paste this so it must be put on nine this thing and let's first to do with this thing uh rename it copy this go here and just paste it yes let's see what happens no such file or directory cd cd w n l o a t s and then is this a hit enter is somewhat unpacking it so it shows uh, some kind of uh, ld config put on in user local already there has been a link over there so what you have to do is uh, you have to just get into the root thing sudo yes and then start to paste this let's see whether it works now it is not working so i am going to upload the video